If you're anything like me, you like to dive into movies and TV shows that reflect your hobbies. I would ride horses when I was younger and then come home and watch the Saddle Club. Quite the throwback. Let me know in the comments below if you remember this show. Or this is so not about any of my hobbies, but if anybody remembers House of Anubis on Nickelodeon, me and my cousin were so obsessed with that show and I need to know if anybody else watched it because it's so underrated. Like, I feel like it's a secret. But anyways, if you're new here, my name is Juliana Zinchenko. I'm a pattern maker and a video essayist. I've probably spent 80% of my life in front of a sewing machine. When I'm done for the day and I turn my machine off, I still wanna be engulfed in a world of fashion. So I have compiled a list of sewing related TV shows and movies for you. Let's get into it. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button for alerts on new videos, like, share, and follow me on Instagram and TikTok for more fashion and movie talk. Starting off with number one, we have a TV show called Velvet. Velvet has a special place in my heart. It is the first sewing show that I fell in love with. It is set in Madrid in the late 50s and made me realize how much I love international television. The story follows star-crossed lovers Alberto and Anna, a Nepo boy getting ready to inherit his father's fashion house, and a talented seamstress that works in the atelier. After her mother passes away, she goes to live with her uncle, who works at the fashion house. She and Alberto grew up together, but their circumstances were anything but similar. If you're a fan of Money Heist, you might remember this guy. This show is a retro romance set in Spain. It couldn't get any better than that. Unless you speak Spanish or Polish, you will have to read subtitles to watch this show. As of right now, it is available to watch with a Netflix subscription or on Amazon Prime for prices ranging from $24 to $39 a season. Moving on to number two on our list, The Collection. Set in Paris in 1947, this post-World War II drama is centered around two brothers, Paul and Claude Sabine. Their family owns a fashion house, and after the struggles of the war, Paul is determined to stake his claim in Paris, a city struggling to regain its footing in the fashion world. Paul handles the business side of things, while Claude is the creative behind all the designs. Their contrasting personalities are fascinating to watch. Paul is the charming, pristine entrepreneur, while Claude is the emotional, unpredictable, and antisocial designer. One of my favorite quotes when it comes to fashion comes from this TV series. You've probably seen me use this scene on this channel before. Fashion has the power to transform us. It's not so much about who you are, but who you want to be. Even those who hate fashion make a statement with what they wear, if only to say to the world, I don't give a damn. There's nothing like a show about family and business being intertwined, and you can't help but get swept away by all the gorgeous vintage looks in this series. Definitely check this one out. It's currently free with an Amazon Prime subscription. Have you ever wanted to learn how to sew? If the answer is yes, I have downloadable sewing patterns on my website. I will put the link in the description below. They are digital files so you can download them right away. No waiting for shipping so you can get started on your project lickety split. They come with instructions with pictures and I also have video instructions on my TikTok and right here on this YouTube to help you out. This is your sign to learn how to sew. My favorite part about learning how to sew is I can have any clothing item I want in the world. I can see something on Hailey Bieber that costs $2,000 and just remake it, like Jenny Humphrey. And if you ever need help on a project or get stuck on anything, feel free to DM me on Instagram. Moving on to number three, The Tailor. This series I just got into a couple weeks ago, and I do have to say it is heavier than most sewing shows that I've watched. This Turkish Netflix series is about a famous tailor named Payami, who is in charge of his best friend's fiance's wedding dress. He has yet to meet his friend's fiance, who's named Ezvet. Since it is against family tradition for any man to see the bride in her wedding dress before the big day, his best friend Dimitri suggests he tailors his fiancée's wedding dress blindfolded. What Isvet fails to reveal is that she is in an extremely abusive relationship with Dimitri. Payami's grandfather passes away and it is now his responsibility to take care of his father, Mustafa, who has a childlike intelligence. 
At this time, Esvet flees her fiancé Dimitri and goes to work for Payami's family as the caretaker of his father. Since Payami was blindfolded, he doesn't know that he's housing his best friend's fiancé. The two start to form a relationship that turns romantic. The Taylor is actually based on a true story. The show is originally in Turkish, but there is English audio. This show is currently available to watch with a Netflix subscription. Moving on to number four, Atelier. I have yet to see this one myself, but it looks very interesting. This Japanese series follows Mayuko Tokita. She takes a job at a high-scale lingerie company named Emotion and struggles to find her footing under the lead of her hard-headed boss, Miss Mayumi Nanjo. This series is inspired by The Devil Wears Prada, and Mayumi Nanjo is modeled after Anna Wintour, who is the editor-in-chief of American Vogue. This is a story of the generational gap between the employer and the employee. Although Mayuko's beliefs differ from her boss's old-fashioned philosophies, she ultimately respects her. American motion pictures often show a character's disdain towards their hard-headed boss. That's what I love most about diving into international television is the exposure to cultural values that differ from my own. It's like you're traveling, but in the comfort of your own home. There is something so powerful about strong women leading the younger generation of girls behind them. A fashion series centered around lingerie is something we don't see a lot. And if you know me, you know I love Victoria's Secret, or used to. I even did a whole video essay on the iconic brand, which is right here on this channel, so you can check it out right after this video. Everything that makes up lingerie is so feminine and girly, so I am looking forward to getting into this show. This show is in Japanese, but English subtitles are available. This series is currently available with a Netflix subscription. And the last, but definitely not least, number five, Coco Before Chanel. This movie follows the incredible story of the mind behind one of the biggest luxury brands, Miss Gabrielle Chanel, better known as Coco. I watched this movie for the first time in my high school French class and was obsessed. I love anything that is a period piece and the story of Miss Chanel is utterly inspiring. The movie highlights Gabrielle's humble beginnings, having been born into poverty. She then went on to become one of the biggest trailblazers in fashion history. She mixed masculine with feminine style and revolutionized women's sportswear. I love nothing more than a rags to riches story. No one wants to sit around hearing about daddy's money and daddy's connections. This is a French film, but English subtitles are available. This movie is available to watch for $3.99 on Amazon Prime. And that wraps up my list of just a few sewing related motion pictures. Let me know down below which one you plan on watching first or if you've seen any of these already. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.